Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. This week I will be memory planning for the week of August 12th through August 18th and I'm really hoping that this week's plan with me will actually make it onto my channel. Last week I had a bit of a mishap where all my footage got deleted and so I'm really really hoping, fingers crossed, that it doesn't happen ever again and that I'll be able to post um, real plan with me's again. So anyways, for this week I have this really stunning kit. This is from Regina Laughs and and um, it's called Untouchable. I just love this artwork and I love the way that she incorporated everything. So the kit actually came with a little sheet of these icons and quarter boxes and half boxes with little bows, super cute. And then we've got the full boxes on this page. Um, the quote box here says, untouchable like a distant diamond sky. And I'm not sure if that's part of a lyric or anything, but it doesn't really ring a bell at the moment. And I just think all of these boxes are so gorgeous. And on this page, we have some washi strips and two strips of bottom washi. Here we have the Hello Weekend banner. We've got these three heart checklists. We have flags, half boxes, scallop labels, quarter boxes, and then circle icons at the bottom. And the last page here has the headers, some deco here. We have two habit trackers, a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar, and then a full box checklist on this side. So what I'm going to be pulling in to this particular kit and I just thought these things would match so nicely. Um, I have these date covers. These are gold foil date covers. This is from Hazel Sticker, and I just thought this matched so perfectly with this color scheme. I'm so excited to use this, and also a really sweet planner friend of mine named Jessica from Paper and Black Roses. She sent along some washi samples from Simply Gilded, which is so, so sweet of her because I know how coveted and precious those washi rolls are. So um, I just happened to notice that these two washi strips match really well with this kit and so I'm going to figure out what I want to pull in um, and yeah those are the extras that I'll be bringing in for this week and um, if you're interested in watching me plan then go ahead and stay tuned. I ended up deciding to pull in the light blue Simply Gilded Washi, and after I placed it down, I realized that it wasn't really a perfect match to the light blue that was in this kit, but it was only off by a little bit, so I decided to keep it. And um, I've kind of figured out a trick for my bottom washi. I really only have to white out the top part of it, and it creates the illusion of um, a break between the bottom box and the bottom washi, which I really like because it's more reminiscent of the old Erin Condren. So this is the way that I've been doing that bottom section recently um, and I just trimmed down the washi that came in the kit to make it fit in the remaining space. For my sidebar this week, I decided to cover up the August monthly hexagon and I just put a full box on top of that and I decided to use the quote box as I usually do for the top corner. And then I used a strip of the scallop label that came with the kit. It was part of the bottom washi that I didn't use and I used a habit tracker to track my working out. I then put down a scallop header from the kit and I put down the full box checklist for my happy moments and at the bottom I put down the Monday through Sunday box for my dinners. I played around with the headers just because I wanted them to match nicely with the colors so even though the text on it didn't really match what it was for I decided I didn't really mind and at the bottom earlier I had put down this large strip of washi to cover up the remainder of this space. I next move on to placing down my date covers, and like I mentioned earlier, these are from Hazel Sticker. Um, what was awesome was that I actually picked out these date covers before I even got the kit, so I just thought they were really pretty already, and then um, I just happened to have something that matched it so nicely. And the gold foil date dots are from Tagami Fox. Moving on to Monday, first I decided to put down a strip of the scallop washi at the top, and I will say that the rounded boxes at the top kind of make it hard for me to figure out where to cut the washi. I've never really had this problem before, so I think it's because it's rounded, um, or maybe I was just like not really paying attention. Um, but anyways, on top of that, I layered a clear header with some gold foiled stars. That's also from Tagami Fox. And then I used a quarter box in the morning to mark something that I had to pick up for work. And then I put down a gold foiled sticky note from Hazel sticker and I paired it with a gold foiled um, pencil sticker that is from Samantha May Sticks and I use that to mark that we had a training for work that day. It was definitely a really important training on suicide prevention and then we had free pizza that was catered after the training so I definitely wanted to mark that. I put it on a washi strip with a pizza sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then placed down a full box and I pulled in this gold foiled laptop sticker that's from Magic Prince Co. And underneath that I used a gold foiled Happy Mail sticker from Magic Prince Co. as well to mark that I went and checked my Happy Mail after work. 
For some reason, I have a really hard time drawing arrows. Sometimes, especially the ones that are facing this direction, I can do the ones that are facing to the right, but for some reason, the ones to the left just never turn out cute. So I decided to white it out and then I redrew it on a separate piece of paper and um, cut it up and glued it onto my planner. At the end of the day, I used a half box and I pulled in this girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. I used that to mark that I filmed. And for this week, the brush lettering pen that I used is um, from the brand Zebra and I bought them at Daiso for $1.50, which is a great deal. Moving to Tuesday, I first put down a full box and on top of that, I layered a flag sticker with a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji on the laptop. I wanted to use the flag to write down the school that I was going to be at for that day. And then I used a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi underneath. I put down a half box with a gold foiled utensil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark my lunch. I think on that day I went and got some Thai food, so I did a little brush lettering on the half box. And then I put down a to-do header with a three bow checklist that is from Chic Blossom Prints. And I used that to mark some things that I did when I got home. I pulled in this really pretty camera sticker that came in the kit. It was part of that little icons sheet. And then I layered some washi strips together and pulled in this cheers to beers sticker from Love Shira, who unfortunately is no longer open, um, but I still love her stickers. So I do still want to pull them in. And at the end of the night, initially I used a gold foiled bow from planning like a pro, but I switched it out for an arrow sticker from magic Prince co to mark that I played my phone game that night. On Wednesday, I decided to put down a full box at the bottom and above that, I just cut up a header and I placed another one of those Tagami Fox gold foiled star headers on top just to add a little more sparkle. Moving to the top of Wednesday, initially I put down the quarter box with the bow, um, but I decided that pink color was a little bit too intense. So I switched it out for another quarter box from the kit instead. On top of that, I used this gold foiled upload sticker from Randy.Plans to mark that I uploaded a video that morning. And then um, to mark something I did at work, I put that on a half box. And um, the pencil sticker is from Samantha May Sticks. It's the same one that I used on Monday. That day, my coworkers and I went and grabbed some Mexican food for lunch. Um, it was my first time seeing some of them for this new school year, so it was really nice getting to catch up on our summers and everything. Um, I used a taco sticker from a happy blue tree. This next part consisted of a lot of rearranging because I just had a really hard time deciding what I wanted to do. So I actually lifted up the header on top of the full box and I decided to use that as a header for a three heart checklist instead. And for some reason, I was just lifting it up and placing it back down again. I think I was just trying to figure out the spacing of where I wanted everything. And eventually I finally figured out something that I liked. On that quarter box I put down, I used a laptop sticker from Magic Prince Co. to mark that I worked on reports for the end of the day. And then I used the three heart checklist to mark some things that I did when I got home. On Thursday, I first started by putting down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. And with this new header system, I do find myself having to white out because all the lines would show through the washi. And um, underneath that, I put down a scallop label. Um, the morning coffee and the coffee sticker are both from Randy.Plans. They came in the same little coffee sheet. And then I put down a flag sticker with a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a staff meeting that I had that morning. If you're wondering why my writing is a bit off center, it's because I wanted to write the name of my school above that. And so it would actually be spaced out at the end. Um, hopefully that makes sense. And then I put down a full box and that one is my favorite one, which is why I saved it for Thursday. I love that girl and her braids. I really don't know how to French braid my hair. So mine never comes out like that. Um, so I just love that. And anyways, underneath that, I used a half box with a beer girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark that I went and got happy hour with a couple of my friends. I then pulled in this quarter box from my leftovers collection and that gold foiled heart sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I use that to mark that we had a friend stay over with us for a couple nights. He was visiting from Portland, so it was really nice to spend some time with him. And then at the end of the night, we actually had some margaritas. And instead of pulling in an alcohol sticker, I just decided to use this cup one from the kit because I figured we drink from cups and so um, that doesn't have to just be for coffee. On Friday, I first put down a full box at the top and then I used a half box underneath that with another gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark another staff meeting that I had at my other school. I used this meal icon from the kit to mark that we had our lunch catered that day and I always love getting free food, um, so that will always go in my planner. And then underneath that, I used another arrow from Magic Prince Co. to mark what I worked on for the rest of the day. 
I then cut up another strip of the scallop washi, and on top of that, I again layered the um, gold foiled star from Tagami Fox. And then um, on the half box that I put down, I wanted to mark our dinner. We went and got Korean barbecue with our friend because he had never gotten it before. So it was really fun introducing him to that. Um, I actually cut up this sticker from Hazel Sticker. Her Korean barbecue sticker actually has like a lot of other parts to it, but it didn't really fit in the box. So I just cut it down to the bare minimum. And then at the end of the night, we just played some board games. So I put that on a quarter box. That one actually was from my leftovers collection, but I thought the colors matched this kit really well. And the board game sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers. Moving to the weekend, for Saturday and Sunday, I wanted to use this weekend banner, but it's so dainty and um, so light colored that I felt like I needed a little something behind it. And so I put down a couple strips of pattern headers from the kit and then layered that weekend banner underneath. For Saturday, I decided to work backwards. So first I put down a half box at the very bottom with a full box on top of that. And I switched out the half box that I used because I decided I wanted to have more purple there in that space. On top of the full box, I put down a strip of washi with a nap queen sticker from MJ and Hope to mark that I had a nap that day. And then above that, I used another strip of washi and the time for taco sticker is from Love Shira. I made it to the top, so the first thing I put down is a quarter box, and I layered a gold foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro on top of that, just to add a little sparkle, and on that washi strip, I just marked that we stopped by the liquor store to get a birthday present for a friend. So on the full box, I used a gold foiled bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that it was one of our friend's birthdays, and we were celebrating with him that night. Again, I'm using my Zebra brush lettering pen, and I believe this one is the extra thin size, um, and then on the half box at the very bottom I put down a beer sticker from paper and milk to mark the bars that we went to for his birthday on Sunday I first started by putting down a full box at the top and then I used another strip of the simply gilded washi underneath I then put down a half box to mark where we grabbed some brunch and we actually got tacos again and so I used a taco sticker from a happy blue tree this time to mark it I then met up with a couple other friends at Carl Strauss to grab a beer and kind of catch up on life. So I used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that. And then at the bottom, I put down a header sticker and layered another one of those gold foiled stars from Tagami Fox on top. And the three bow checklist is from Chic Blossom Prints. Again, I used that to mark some of the things that I did that day. Um, one of the things I did was to check my PO box. So I pulled in this Happy Mail sticker from Magic Prints Co. The last thing that I do before moving to my sidebar is adding this gold foiled arrow sticker and that is from Stella Bow Sticker Co. I just wanted to add some more gold foil in that space. And once I'm done with that, I move to my sidebar. First, I put down a gold foiled remember sticker from Rose Colored Days as part of my sidebar. And then I go ahead and track my happy moments and my dinners for the week. Um, no workouts since I didn't do any. I've been really bad with working out this year, you guys. Um, I don't know why I have like great years and then like horrible years in terms of working out. So this is just not a good year but anyways now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left and then I'm doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that is in this gorgeous spread and yeah that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed the spread um, using this kit from Regina laughs I think it came out so beautiful and I don't think I mentioned this earlier but I chose this kit for this week because this was the last week um, before the kids come back for school and so I feel like even though I've kind of already been at work this week feels like the true end of summer for me and and I feel like this is just like one last hurrah summer kit. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was really perfect for how I felt about this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as always, please let me know if you have any questions about any of the stickers that I used or just anything else in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week or weekend, depending on when you're watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.